Hello there, Year 3. It's time for another pretest. We're looking at the green list today, Unit 25 in Soundwaves. We're going to start with a little quiz for you this morning, see if you can work out this one. Okay, I am a mammal. I have four legs. I live on a farm sometimes, but I'm not a cow. I like to run very fast. Some famous individuals from my species include Black Beauty, Tonto and Farlap. Well, did you guess it? If you said you are, I am a horse, then you are correct. And here is Soundwave Unit 25, and there's our little horsey there. Okay, at the top, lots of graphemes you can see there to make the word, uh, to make that sound or, which is the sound of the week this week, the sound that is in horse. Okay, here we go with the pretest. First word is north. The North Pole is where Santa lives, apparently. North. Next word is caught. I caught a butterfly in my net. Caught. Next word is bought. She bought some meat from the butchers. Bought. Next word is autumn. The season... After summer is autumn. Next word is August. We are currently in the month of August. August. Next word, astronaut. When I was a boy, I wanted to be an astronaut when I grew up. Astronaut. Maybe I will one day, you never know. Next word is audience. The audience applauded politely at the end of the show. Audience. Next word is automatic. Press that button and the uh, cycle will be automatic. Automatic. Next word is brought. What lovely treats have you brought for your teacher today? Brought. Next word is cautious. You have to be cautious when you're crossing the road. Cautious. Next word is daughter. My youngest daughter is named Freya. Daughter. Next word is dinosaur. The dinosaur, why did the dinosaur cross the road? Because chickens weren't invented yet, is the answer to that. A little joke for you. That was dinosaur. Next word is enormous. A blue whale is an enormous creature. Enormous. Next word is exhausted. At the end of the day, I sometimes feel exhausted. Exhausted. Next word is distraught. The woman was very distraught when she lost her son in the crowd. Distraught. Next word is fourth. One quarter is also known as one fourth. Fourth. Next word is naughty. None of the students in Year 3 at Inneborough are ever naughty. Naughty. We won't tell mum or dad that, will we? Okay, next word is ordinary. It's a very ordinary sort of a day today. Ordinary. Next word is organise. Try to organise your day so that you can get things done. Organise. And the last word, another fraction word, is quarter. We had one fourth and we have one quarter. Same thing. All right, boys and girls, here are how to spell these words. Right, so firstly, we're going to start with bought and brought down here. Two words people often get mixed up and confused about. Uh, what is the... These are both past tense verbs. What is the present tense of bought? 
It is buy. I want to buy something from the shops. So I bought it yesterday from the shop. Over here, brought is the past tense of bring. So she brought it with her in her bag. Okay, so bought and brought. You've got to remember how to use those words carefully in a sentence. You don't get them mixed up. Now, here's a tricky one here, probably the hardest one today is distraught. If you got that one correct, you probably should have been in the final of the spelling bee. It's a really tricky one, okay, with the A-U-G-H-T, not a very common ending there. Uh, four letters there, making one sound. That's called a quad graph, for those of you who are interested. A four letters together, making one sound, which is or in that word there. So that's quite... Uh, an interesting one, and we also get that in naughty as well. A U G H is there as well. So, some interesting words uh, to look at. We have oh, we have quad graphs in brought, bought and brought too. O U G H is also another quad graph, by the way. Okay, well there you have it. Uh, best of luck for your spelling this week, Year Three.